Welcome to this video on how to remove parts from the build platform of your FDM 3D printer. So the first printer we're going to have a look at is the Ultimaker S3. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the glass build plate. By unlatching at the front I can then remove it and then place it onto a different surface to go about the process of actually removing the part. Now that I have the glass build platform removed I can start to have a look at the part itself. So we can see that we have a chamfer running along that back edge and some support material. So these are two really good areas to try and remove the part with. So the chamfer allows you to get your scraper underneath that edge. And also the support material gives you another option. So by putting the scraper onto the support material, you know you're not going to be causing any further damage to the part itself. Therefore, when you go through and you remove it, it's not going to create any issues to your part. Your geometry is going to be exactly as you'd expect it to be, as it was when it came off the printer. So we can use this to minimize risk. The next printer we're going to have a look at is the Mark Forged X7. You can see that I'm applying an Elmer's glue stick onto the build platform itself. This is going to further add to the adhesion effect of the part to the build plate, and then also works in reverse. If a part is too difficult to remove, we can actually apply a small amount of water onto our scraper, and this is going to uh, mix in with the, the PVA glue that's been applied to the build platform and allow the part to unstick slightly easier. Once again, we have some support material on this part. So therefore, what we're going to do is we're going to put the scraper onto this area. We're making sure that whenever we're using the scraper, we're pushing it away from our body and away from our hands, therefore away from harm's way. We want to make sure we're being as safe as possible whenever we're moving a part off. The second most important is going to be ensuring that the part is released smoothly and easily and not going to cause any damage. Once the support material is removed, we can see the part we have at the end. And there's no scarring to the surfaces due to the way that we removed the part from the build platform. However, what if we have a slightly more difficult challenge? The challenge in question here is going to be two of these flat discs. These flat discs don't have any areas where there's support material or chamfers. Therefore, we're going to have to try and get a scraper underneath as gently as we possibly can. However, as this is printed on our Sindo 7X, we can use the flexible bed to raise up one of the sides to the print itself and pull it off from there, therefore making it a lot easier for any surfaces that are large and flat, which would usually be very difficult to get a blade underneath without causing any damage to the part. So your top tips coming away from this video, if you are going to be removing a part, try and ensure that your scraper is going underneath the supports. Use that support material where we can do to ensure that you're not going to be causing any damage to the part surface. Secondly, we want to ensure that it was safe as possible. Whenever you're using your scraper, make sure the blade is pushing away from your body. And lastly, if we are able to do a design for additive manufacture, let's try to introduce a chamfer onto the bottom edge. This can then allow for support to either be applied to this area or for the scraper to actually get underneath it to remove the part a little bit easier.